Hey, good evening, YouTube. Welcome in. Rockstar Flipper here. I am Casey, the Rockstar Flipper, better known as, and it is Thursday's live show. So thank you guys for joining me. If you're new, welcome into the channel. And here we talk about reselling eBay, Amazon, Poshmark, Macari, Craigslist, Facebook, the whole shebang. And we do it every Thursday night, 9 p.m. Eastern time right here. So welcome in, everybody. And you saw the title. It's not clickbait. I promise you I'm going to show you guys how to get some free eBay final value fees in just a second, of course. So I'm going to say hello to everyone, and then we'll jump into this fantastic show. Uh, somebody said, um, "Somebody said, was he going to be on time? Nope, I was one minute late. I apologize to everybody for being a minute late. So uh, welcome. I see Megan in the chat. Um, I'm pretty sure Flippin' Hippos will be here, Adam. Um, <laughs> and somebody says that uh, The Rock is in the house. Yes, yeah, so thank you. And Jenna, good evening, my favorite rock star. So good evening to all of you guys. Um, my favorite rock stars. I call you all my favorite rock stars, just like you guys call me yours. So I appreciate all the support. There's a ton of you in the chat. And uh, we're going to jump right into, I've got a screenshot that I'm going to share with you guys in just a second. And it's going to show you exactly how to get free eBay fees. Now, the thing about it is, is I didn't get this yet, uh, or I haven't noticed it. And so I'm going to show you guys what I seen. And then I'm going to explain to you what I know about it. And then if anybody in the chat knows more about it, uh, please let me know. Um, and before I do get started, uh, I don't want anyone in the chat to bring up anything that happened at three o'clock this morning or drama or any of that. The only thing I'm going to say about that is I stand behind everything I say. If you don't like it, that's the wonderful world of the internet. They created the X button and they created the power off button or the block button. It works a million times over. So, uh, I stand behind every way that I feel I've always been straight with you guys. I'll never delete, never hide, never scrub and never hide Instagram stories, live shows that go away. If you have something to say to me, here's an open invitation. Come on my live show with the exception of about three of you. Anybody's welcome on this live show. If you want to talk about anything, you want to debate anything, you want to go over anything, you want to question me about something, absolutely come on my live show. I will give you the platform. I'll give you shout outs. I'll do whatever I can with the exception of a couple of you. Um, so you're welcome. You're all welcome to come on the live show anytime you want. This doesn't get deleted. Comments don't get scrubbed. It'll always be here forever. So with that said, let's move on to free eBay fees. Everyone loves free, right? Who loves free? Everybody in the chat loves free, right? Am I missing something? Maybe maybe some of you guys don't like free fees. I like free fees, and I think this is the uh, this is a pretty good way that eBay is doing it. I'm going to give eBay props where props is due on giving a chance at free fees. Hey, Lakeland Wayne, have a beer on me. Thank you so much for the $14.99 Super Chat. Really, really appreciate that. Um, thanks for all the great content, Amazon Seller 99. Thank you so much. So free is why I'm here. Free is for me. All of you like free. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and screen share. You guys are going to see this in just a second. You're going to see my screen and I'm going to show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. Free fees on eBay. I'm pretty sure some of you guys probably already saw this. So, um, here it is. Tell me if you guys can see the screen share. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click on it. It says success. Pay no fees when you share and sell through your personal link. Um, and then it has a button for view listing, revise listing, go to my eBay. So what is this? What does it mean? What does it do? How does it work? Et cetera. So eBay is giving us the ability and we're going to call this what it is. It's an affiliate link. Those of you that don't know what an affiliate link is, it means a company provides you a link directly to a product or a page and you essentially get paid for sending that link out and making the sale. Well, instead of paying you, eBay is going to credit you the final value fee um, for that item. I don't know if they're crediting the listing fee or anything else. I know it's the final value fee. So what happens is uh, on this screenshot that you see on your screen right now, um, the link would be that blue button. You would click that. So for whatever this uh, particular item is, you would share that link. And so where could you share that link? You could certainly share it on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, on social media, anywhere you wanted. Let's say that you posted a picture of a really great shirt that you picked up at the bins yesterday or at, at Salvation Army or, or what, what have you. And a ton of people like that shirt and was like, man, I really want to buy it. Instead of telling them to go to your eBay store and buying it, you can send them this direct link. And if they click the link and actually do buy the item, you're not going to pay a fee for that sale. How awesome is that? Now, I know that people are going to scream that, you know, helps out those of you with big followings. And it does. Of course it does. But you could make a sale to anyone, even if like a quarter of your sales ended up being direct. 
you could save an instant 20%, 25, 30, 40% of your fees if you started selling your items directly uh, before they even had a chance to sell on eBay. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop that um, this screen share. If you wanna see this, go ahead and screenshot it. I'm sure a ton of you got uh, this notification or message on eBay. I'm back with you here. So let me go ahead and minimize that. Um, so uh, this is a way of combating Facebook Marketplace and Instagram sellers. Uh, it super is. <laughs> we have flipping hippos in the house, just like I said. Jessica Smith in the house to troll. Um, where's Super Troll Moderator? I don't believe that uh, Jamie is in the chat. Um, so what do you guys think about the free eBay marketing tool? Do you guys think that this is, um, hey, JJ Rags to Riches, what's up? Do you guys think that this is a good idea? Do you think it's gonna be successful? Is it something you see yourself doing? I think free eBay fees, regardless of how they come, is good, period. It doesn't matter how it happens, but I think this is a really good um, way to do it. And I think that this is sort of eBay's way of, matching now i'm not saying ebay is going on the poshmark train here but they're kind of matching you know poshmark with the share button except they're kind of doing it in a roundabout way of share your link a um, little more difficult but same idea sort of um they didn't really go out it just means um it just means that they uh you know I, is this beta? Does anyone know if this is just beta? Did only some of us get it? Because I, I was just checking my messages. I don't see anything in the messages and I don't see anything in, in any kind of my listings to do this. So um, any chance I can. Uh, yeah, Brandon says he can sell any through his personal Facebook and friends. They might be annoyed with spamming the timeline. That's absolutely 100% true. You don't want to go spamming stuff. But I think when you have a really great item, you could post it. And um and you could uh, you could potentially make the sale. Elizabeth Hankins, thank you so much for the $10 super chat. Elizabeth, one of my most favorite, loved, enduring followers. I love you to death. Thank you a million times, my dear. Um, uh, Thrift and Flip RA says he got it when he was going to relist an item. So if any of you are relisting items, or you have some items that you need to put up, you might have the opportunity then. Uh, it's when you list on mobile, it shows up, Jessica Smith says. Jessica, thank you for that uh, update. I appreciate it. Hey, look, wait, wait a minute. Ah, mind blown. Just thought about it. I'm here. Hi. And Jessica's in the chat right now. <laughs> Obviously, I was late coming in the chat. I have no idea. Just pointing that out. Uh, Gina Wood, $20 super chat. Thank you for the help and advice. Thank you guys so much for all the super chats. I appreciate you. Lakeland Wayne, Elizabeth, and Gina, you guys are the best. No hands, Casey. No hands right there. Let me put my hands up there while Jessica's typing some chat in there. And Kate just got back in town from her flight, so she's not even half here. Um, <laughs> anyways, uh, so uh, I don't remember seeing the email, but when it, so it looks like according to Cindy Pittman and a couple other people, when you go to relist the item on mobile, it's gonna show up. So you're gonna have to pay attention to that. Um, I could be helpful sometimes. There you go. You're totally trolling yourself. I must be. I must totally be trolling myself. So um, so that's the eBay free listing fees. Um, that's all I really had for you guys. I'm terrible at planning. I was up late, uh, obviously, and um, I had to go to the airport. I, I didn't get much done today. So I apologize for not having more um, lined up for you. <laughs> Paul DeLeo says, you never see Jessica and Jamie in the same place. <laughs> I can assure you it's not Jamie. Jamie trolls willingly under his real name. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I just made the connection. I was up really late, yeah. So if you guys have anything else you wanted to talk about, I see a few people mentioning some glitches, uh, ones I'm not familiar with. Uh, if you wanted to talk about um, anything reasonable and positive, by all means, knock yourselves out, ask me. Um, maybe Deb, laugh out loud, and by the way, not Jamie. There you go, that's my hands again. I'm just gonna leave my hands up here so every time people type stuff, they know it's not me. <laughs> Good Lord. Um, I've been seeing a new thing during listing, an offer to add the item to a current promoted listing campaign. Yeah, David uh, David K says, or I'm sorry, Flippin' Geezer says that uh, he sees that, and that is absolutely true. Um, that has been adding uh, uh, to a lot of things. If you have a promoted listing, a promoted campaign running and you list a new item, it'll allow you to add it to it. It's pretty cool. Uh, David says he gives me more credit. I would give myself more credit too. Thrifty Shopper Vlog. Uh, Casey, did you see my comment? Which one, dear? Go ahead and throw it up there and I'll, uh, I'll be happy to uh, to address that. eBay still has some of my sold listings and active. Uh, it could be a glitch. You're probably gonna have to call them uh, up on that one. Um, sales up or down for August. I think uh, everyone should respond to that. Um, 
I think most people were down and hopefully September is up. I just got here. Could you explain what this video is about in a sentence, Jerry? Yeah, eBay is giving free final value fees when you share your listings using a personal link. It's a new feature. If you share the item using a personal link and somebody buys it, uh, you won't be charged the final value fee. Rewind this video and you can certainly listen to the first, what have we been on, 10 minutes? You can listen to the first nine or 10 minutes and hear about it. So, um, Megan Mawinney was up in August. Uh, KFP Fashion Boutique was down. Christina was down on eBay, but up on Posh. Uh, up 17% Savannah. Um, couple of people looking like they were up a lot. Um, Thrifty says, yes, the big glitch was shipping with the app. Uh, what was the big glitch with the shipping with the app? Uh, Megan had a huge month up because she was down in July. I know that. Um, am I opting in for the new ba managed payments? No, I did opt in in the first email, but they're going to send a second confirmation email. I think I actually got it. I'm not opting in because of um, because of not allowing my buyers to pay me with uh, PayPal and because of the whole global shipping thing. Not for me, not yet. I'll get into it once they get it all fixed up. So. Flipping cents into dollars, a hundred dollar super chat. Sales have been slow for me. Uh, I think we all know who flipping cents into dollars is. Thank you so much, buddy. Appreciate that. Very kind of you and uh, awesome of you to join me. So thank you a million times over. Um, everybody give him a big shout out if you guys know who he is. Um, dang, look at the super chats. Yeah, he's, uh, he's an awesome dude and we love him. Uh, I love his drone picture too. He's flying drones. He got some cool videos. So thank you guys for that. Uh, you can now do promoted listings without having a store subscription. Lauren, I believe I heard that. I believe I saw that. Um, yeah, uh, up 441% Gina says, well done, Gina. Well done. Um, muddy dirt is flipping gold. Yeah. So are a lot of people really um, that are close, and this is going to go out to you clothing sellers. Do you guys, uh, are you starting to add more hard goods and electronics in here? I'll tell you what, Steven Fielder does amazing selling some of the hard goods and electronics, man. Some of the vintage stuff he sells is incredible. He can do three, four, five hundred dollars $500 in sales on just a couple of items in a day or two. And that's matching some of you guys' entire weeks, or in some cases, two weeks on clothes. So it's, it's really behooves you it's one of my favorite words behooves you to mix those hard goods those electronics those those you know non clothing items and even just a shoe uh increase in inventory can help your sell through rate go way up toys for quarter four adam has a great point there um deb smith posh and ebay running neck and neck and still doing better on etsy she's really diversified in fact uh i get to visit uh with some people this uh holiday weekend. I'm so excited about that. If you're in town for holiday weekends, Labor Day, Halloween, well, Halloween will be out of town, but most holidays, hit me up. I'll hang out with you. Um, yeah. T Taylor says you could do promoted listings without a store. You just had to be top rated. That's what I, that was the, the thing that I was missing there. Absolutely. Um, Serena message me privately and I will help you with finding more of them. I promise you. Um, Pixelin's place, the more that you list on Posh, the more sales you get on eBay. I truly think that Posh listings help SEO in general. So that's just me. Um, Deb says her bags are packed. She'll see me soon. She's going to be in town this coming weekend uh, slash week, this whole week, actually, um, more than a week. And so I'm going to get to hang out with her one day. Um, sales have been horrible. 90% clothing. Jenna Taylor is adding hard goods. You have to. Jenna, look for those electronics. If you didn't see my video on how to source them using local websites, you definitely need to check that out. Um, uh, Ricky Thomas, thanks for all you do. Just saw your middle of the night video. Uh, yeah, middle of the morning video. I appreciate it though. Thank you for the support. Thanks to everyone who supported me on obviously the things that uh, we're not talking about. Hey, thrift trader in the house. I've been selling things on Posh about any work. Strange, isn't it? Uh, shoes are selling shoe forever, but it's like roller coaster, Lakeland Wayne. Yeah, you know, the clothing and shoe game is so up and down. But I'm going to tell you guys, and, and this is the part that you want to record with your phone hard goods and electronics. And I'm not talking about the unique, rare, weird, like plates or china or statues. Electronics, home goods, like let's say Roombas and Dysons and PlayStations and video games and iPads and tablets and webcams and, uh, you know, tech, tech stuff, electronics, new age cameras point and shoot cameras like this thing, they sell instantly. You don't have to promote them. You don't have to do free shipping. You don't have to run 
promotions. You don't have to do this. You don't have to do brain surgery on them to make them sell. They sell. If I took my Canon, my G7X right now, this is my vlogging camera. I would never sell this. But if I took this right now and I posted it with a reasonable price, took like four pictures of it, one, two, three, four, popped a charger on it, put it on eBay, this would sell before the end of this live show. Or I would at least have people inquiring, asking, possibly making offers if I put a best offer. On this kind of stuff, I don't even do best offers. You put it up for a price. If it doesn't sell in a day, you drop it five bucks. It doesn't sell, drop it five bucks. It will sell. That's how you make money on eBay. Selling clothes is great. It's long-term, long tail, huge inventory. It's volume, it's bulk, and it requires huge, huge numbers. And in some cases, operations or employees. You want to sell 300, 400, 500, a thousand dollars in a week. Go get yourself some electronics, some video games, some home goods, some Roomba, some tech, and tell me what happens. You're waiting around to sell $15 shirts and you sell 10 of them, do 150. Meanwhile, they take all month to sell those 15. You sell two or three items in a couple days, you've matched it. It's just a thought. I know it's harder to get. It requires more capital. But if you want to sell on eBay, that's the stuff you have to sell. So, um, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for the thumbs up. Appreciate that, guys. Um, definitely, of course, you know, the items not as described, the returns, it's a higher risk, of course. Do your, you know, do your research, do your due diligence, do your, you know, your, your uh, price research, do your testing, learn everything you need to know about everything. Um, I have an amazing, and, and I don't care if, if you guys want it, you want it. If you don't, you don't. I do have an amazing electronics um, you know, list. It's, it's hundreds of items with all these electronics you should be buying. It, it's available down in the description box. Um, it's also in the VIP group. If you're part of that group and you haven't downloaded it, go download it. It's free inside the VIP group. And it's got amazing items. You know, you can buy that with the combo. You have to mix these items in. You can't rely on just clothing. Not anymore. It used to be able to, but not anymore. Um, so um, let me go through the chat a little bit. Uh, it's all, Tam's Place, definitely diversify. Thrift Trader is asking if anybody knows about the Android app allowing multiple photo uploads simultaneously. I don't use Android, so I don't know about that, buddy. I'm not sure. Uh, there might be a few people that, uh, that do. Uh, Krabby Miss Silvertooth just noticed her in the chat. Thank you uh, so, so much for being here and hanging out. Uh, Thrifty Shopper Vlog, thanks for all your information. You're very welcome. I wish I knew more about the shipping glitch that's going on. Uh, my recommendation would be eBay's uh, eBay for business on Facebook or to call them. There's really nothing I can do. Hey, Colleen Gallagher is here, one of my faves. She'll be here for Halloween. She's going to hang out with us in St. Augustine. So can't wait to see you, Colleen. A month and a half countdown, something like that. Two months, two months, something like that. Um, so, yeah. Uh, huh. Let's see what else we got. Krabby there with a big smile. How you doing? Uh, Android update changed the photos to all 12 at once. So there you go. Put a claim for a FedEx smart post a month ago. Yeah, Thomas, I've heard that. Um, Thomas Wilkinson, long time, buddy. How you doing? Uh, somebody asking about um, the FedEx last week about a claim on FedEx. Apparently it takes weeks and you have to keep following up with them. So if you ever have a problem with FedEx and you ever have a problem with like a lost or damaged package, make sure you stay on top of them. Um, yeah, so... Uh, there's Colleen. Colleen's one of our faves. What's up? Collars. I'll call her Collars. I can't wait to see her. I can't wait to see everybody that we're going to see. Sid, if you guys didn't see, Sydney L actually got chosen for Posh Fest in Dallas to be a closet consultant. So make sure you go congratulate her. Uh, you can just look up Sydney L on Facebook. I also posted for her on my Instagram. Go check her out. She's going to be in Dallas. That's awesome for her. She'll be hanging out with us in St. Augustine. Colleen will be there. Star and Keith will be there. We're all going to have a good old time. We're going to ghost tours, haunted prisons, haunted lighthouses, uh, Ripley's Haunted Museum after hours. And uh, I think we'll probably indulge in a few adult beverages while we're there. So um, Sarah M is 20 minutes from St. Augustine. Well, come hang out. We'll be there the last weekend of October. I think it's like the 26, 27, 28, something like that. Um, just make sure... Uh, you know, Suzette's hometown. Yeah, we love, we love St. Augustine. It's awesome. So can't wait to be there for that. Um, Casey, going to shoot guns? Um, no, I don't think we're going to shoot guns, but uh, I should have my gun with me in case any ghosts try to get me, right? I can bang, 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 ping, ping, pew, pew. <laughs> um, 
There's no shortcut to modify the Prop 65 on your active listings. Uh, I got a couple emails from folks I need to read over and check. Uh, the thing about Prop 65 is if you don't have 10 employees or more, you don't have to worry about it. If you're under 10 employees, don't worry about the new California law about identifying dangerous materials. Don't worry about it. Um, yeah, so the ghost tours are awesome. They are. They're fantastic. Uh, so it, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Uh, can an old white haired man come? Yeah, you all are welcome. We're going to be, we all got an Airbnb, so we've all got a place to stay, but uh, we're going to be around town all weekend. So you guys, if you're in the area, uh, message us and come grab a drink or something with us. That'd be awesome. Uh, what's up with the sending offers to watchers button? David, Chris Deck, awesome question. Those of you that saw my video about eBay adding a button to make offers to your watchers. This is different from the people putting your item in a cart and reducing the price down 5% or whatever it is. Uh, the offers to watchers button is only available for non-business sellers, which I believe means you don't have a store. So individual sellers, it's in beta and it's coming soon for uh, everybody else eventually. No ETA on that, hopefully before fourth quarter. Um, the button is not showing, um, the button is not showing available for hardly anyone right now. How will they know if you have 10 or 10 employees based on your, um, when you register a business and you hire an employee, you have to put them in legally for taxes. You're not supposed to pay them under the table. You're supposed to file W2s. And so they can get a count on how many employees you have, but it's not easy. They're not going to be auditing that crazy. So, um, eBay wants to be Amazon and Poshmark. Posh already has that. Way to keep up, eBay. Yeah, Posh absolutely has that button and eBay is uh, lagging behind on it. But the fact that they're putting it out is good news. Um, four employees is enough for me. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm not a big fan. Like, I don't, I'm not interested in running like a 100, 100 employee company or even 10 employees. I've had up to three employees and it's, it's fine, but I'd rather just be me and be somebody that can travel the world and just have my computer and just do my thing. So, um, so that's crazy. Yeah, don't go looking for that button. It doesn't exist just yet. Um, hopefully, it's going to be coming out. When it comes out for everybody, I'll update you. Absolutely. So, uh, Contractors are not employees, Jason. I believe that it only counts as full-time employees. I'd have to check on that, though. Anyways, yeah, eBay used to be pioneers because they used to put way more money into R&D and research, and now they put way more money into their CEO's pocket. Sorry, eBay. It's truth. It's all over the internet. Feel free to Google it. Okay, so uh, free returns, yes, my returns did go up a little bit. I used to hover, you guys know, between like 1.75 and 2%. Occasionally, I'd go over 2. I am up near like 3.5% right now. So my returns have gone up about one and a quarter to 1.5%. So Michael C. Lewis, hi from Northeast Ohio. Welcome in, over a year and a half following me. Thank you so much. For that, do you know the tax laws of selling your own personal belongings on eBay? Yeah, energy, if it's your own personal stuff, you're gonna have to keep track of it through accounting, either QuickBooks or GoDaddy, and sort it out from your normal sales for the items that you're flipping. You do not owe profit, or you do not owe taxes on items that you do not profit on as far as like a personal item. If I took this shirt off and sold it on eBay for 10 bucks, I wouldn't have to be responsible for the IRS, but you better have a detailed accounting and receipts of all the items you bought for profit. That way, when you pull your personal items out, you can explain, hey, that was a personal item. Here's all my receipts for the items I bought. And here's my shirt that I didn't buy. So just keep that in mind. Um, uh, Michelle Donathan using offer up with local sales in Southern California. You know, um, the... Uh, the big man, Knight Field Required, is in Southern California and does the same thing as well. And uh, he is um, very successful with local sales. So I agree with the local sale thing totally, depending on where you are. Um, Tam's Place, you can run an entire business uh, off your phone. It's possible. Um, I know some people on Instagram that don't even have YouTube. They don't do YouTube at all. They just do Instagram. Their entire business is promoting products that they either use or wear or do things with. And so let's say that they went out and they bought this camera and they were like, hey, I really love this camera. I got a new camera. They take some pictures of it. They post it on their Instagram. They have big followings. And uh, Canon says, hey, put this out to your following. And if you sell any, we'll give you 20 bucks for every camera. Well, they have a huge following. They put it out. They sell, you know, three or four a day. All of a sudden they're making 80, 100 bucks a day. And 
that just made them, you know, 2,500 to three grand for the month. And so tomorrow they say, Hey guys, I found this amazing new upgraded SD card. And SanDisk says, Hey, we'll give you five bucks for everyone you sell. They click, they take a picture and all of a sudden they sell 10 a day. So there's 50 more dollars. And so you guys get the point every day, all day they're, they're promoting products or clothing, or some of the girls do purses and hats and stuff. They make five bucks per item and they're putting up a whole outfit. So somebody goes in and buys the outfit, they get to make 20, $30. It's called affiliate marketing. It's amazing and it's awesome. I just saw a super chat come in from Heather Solinger. Thank you so much for the $20. I appreciate that. No message, but thank you, Heather, for the support. Um, and, and again, you can buy and sell on Poshmark if you're out buying clothing and doing stuff. You could take all the pictures from your phone. You could list them. When they sell, people use, you know, linking up your phone with your computer, your thermal, print it out. You could literally not even need a computer. I can't live without a computer. Most of what I do is on a computer, but you get the point, guys. You get the point. Um, so affiliate marketing, really good source of income. I wish I did more with affiliates. I make a little bit of money from affiliates. I showed Star the other day. It's a few hundred dollars a month, but um, I really think that affiliates is a big market and I wish I could make more on it, so. Bob Gomez, one sale from Posh Ambassador. Well, get to sharing. Go share your whole closet right now and make offers to everyone that likes your stuff. Guarantee you'll get that sale tonight. No doubt about it. So um, if there's any other questions, I don't want to keep everyone too, too long. I appreciate all of you being here. 270 people. If you can hit the like button, uh, really appreciate it. It helps me know that you guys enjoy the videos, that you guys enjoy the content, and that I'm helping you. Uh, thanks to everyone, Stephen and Heather and Elizabeth and Lakeland Wayne and everyone else who was kind enough to leave a super chat. I really appreciate that. Um, uh, I just got my affiliate. I have pennies. <laughs> yeah, Star, it took me six months to make, uh, a, eh, like five months to make a payment on affiliates, and I made like 10 bucks. So uh, Willie Crawford teaches affiliate marketing. I'll have to look him up, Thomas. Thanks for that, um, that, uh, that suggestion. So if you guys have any last questions, uh, again, the point of this video, I'll recap it. Free eBay listing, final value fees, if you share, use the share link. It's on mobile. Go relist your items. You'll see it. If you share it and you make a sale, uh, you won't be charged the final value fee. And anybody who has anything to say uh, that wants to talk to me or discuss topics or discussions and wants to do it in a place where they're not putting on Instagram stories or Instagram live or places where it's going to be deleted, this platform is open to you guys. Message me, email me, and we'll set it up with the exception of about three or four of you who don't need to bother. Um, anything else? Um, I can, uh, I can help you with, I can talk to you. This is an open, open, uh, open platform for you guys. I have nothing to hide and I'll never delete anything from you all. So uh, yeah, Joel McCo McEwen, send me a message and an email and we'll talk about some of that wholesale getting you over that hump. Uh, rockstarflipper at gmail.com, make sure you do it. Um, Amanda, thank you, I really appreciate you guys. Euro XTRM, say hello to Nicole. <laughs> no, no one, listen, I think I did all the hello saying I needed to do last night, so. If there's not anything else, I'll let you guys get back. A little short live video. Um, and uh, Trina, when I shared a Pinterest, the picture doesn't show up. That is odd, uh, it might be a glitch, I'll have to check on that and ask somebody else. If anyone reading this, um, Kate, Colleen says hello. Um, she says, hello, Colleen. Um, if anybody else shares to Pinterest and it's working, can you please let Trina W know or put it in the comment section? I'll leave you guys with that. Uh, Megan, have a wonderful night. I'll see you inside of uh, 2.0 and everyone else. Uh, Marvin, don't be scared of uh, Prop 65. Uh, only need 10 employees. If you have less, you're good to go. So have a wonderful night. I'm going to go eat. I have not eaten yet. I forgot to eat dinner. Sorry. And uh, love all of you. Love everyone who left Super Chats, supported me last night, the whole shebang. Uh, you guys are the best. And again, this 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 channel, this video is open for all of you, the comment section. And if you want to come on the channel and be respectful and have a nice debate and discussion, let's do it. I'll see you guys next week. And of course, I'll see you tomorrow with regularly scheduled programming right here on the Rockstar Flipper YouTube channel. Good night, everyone.